I'm Medina Ali, and I'm the president and CEO of Safe EC Cloud. I serve on the Diversity and Inclusion Committee for the IMACP, and I'm over the marketing and social media. A part of our series is to showcase Microsoft business partners who have included diversity and inclusion into their overall business model. So I'm very happy to have Aldo Zanoni, CEO of uh, Omni Technology Solutions. We're the okay. parent company of, of two individual solutions that okay. uh, we provide to Microsoft partners and Microsoft customers, okay. Identity Maestro, and our Reva, okay. uh, CRM integration solution. So what does Identity Ma Maestro do for Microsoft business partners? So both of our products mm -hmm. help Microsoft business partners and customers mm -hmm. fill gaps and white space when okay. they have enterprise requirements that aren't able to be met by the default solution. Okay. So in the case of Microsoft Dynamics, we have customers who use Identity Maestro okay. to manage their what's called segregation of duties. I see. Okay. And, and that means that a person shouldn't have more access to the system than they need to do his or her job. Okay, okay. On the Reva side, Microsoft Dynamics customers appreciate the security, okay. scalability, reliability mm -hmm. of bringing advanced customer intelligence to manage relationships mm. and the customer journey. Okay. okay. So both of our platforms empower uh, enterprise customers to be more successful okay. in leveraging Microsoft technologies. And were you one of the original founders? Of Certainly the am. Okay. Proud to be one of the co-founders of, okay. of our company. Okay. Uh, and you can tell by the color of my hair that that goes back a yeah. long time. <laughs> Well, um, now you also said that you all are located not only here in the U.S., you all started out in Canada, but where are you all located around the world? Well, not only did we start in Canada, we're, we're doubling down on our, on our Ed Edmonton, Alberta presence. Okay. Two weeks ago, we launched a new 10,000 square foot center uh, of research and development okay. center of excellence. Ooh. And it was a wonderful grand opening. We okay. were able to raise uh, twenty over twenty six thousand dollars for charity to okay. get back oh, to the community okay. at our grand opening, and, and okay. uh, it was a wonderful opportunity to celebrate our success, okay. uh, our staff success, that's and good. our customer success with that official launch. So that's our headquarters. Okay, and we have locations in Austin, Texas. We have locations in uh, location in Sunnyvale. Mm -hmm. We are also located Sunnyvale, in California. California, right? yeah. yeah okay. Two locations there. Okay. Uh, we're located in London. We've okay. got offices in Paris, and our uh, German uh, location is responsible for all of the MIA. Okay. And we also have a couple of people. And that's out Middle of, East and Africa, correct? That's Europe, okay. Middle East, and Africa. Okay. Thank you. And we also have a couple of staff members in Australia that take care of business development for our Asia Pacific, Pacific. region. Oh, great. Okay. So you all are truly a global Microsoft business partner. We're definitely a global partner with okay. global customers okay and and the majority of our customers are also global customers okay okay so um, when you heard about this huge diversity and inclusion um, mission from Microsoft how they wanted Microsoft business partners to start implementing diversity in, in diversity and inclusion as a part of their training particularly on unconscious bias as well as addressing other issues you have employees through pretty much throughout the major cities in the world um, how did HR address that and as and you being the CEO and the leader and the visionary of the company what steps did you take and what are you proud about your diversity and inclusion initiative it, it's interesting I think that one of one of the sort of almost rules that we have is sometimes leaders need to lead by following mm. and lead, need to lead by following 
the the wonderful staff members that we have, and, well, and we've good. got a great HR team. Okay. Uh, and as a company, we have always been mm -hmm. an inclusive company. Okay. And we've had a tremendous diversity of staff from around the world. Okay. Uh, we have 80, I think we're up to 86 staff members in our headquarters in Edmonton, Alberta. Okay. And they represent, I believe it's now 24 different countries of origin. Mm. Okay, so that's very impressive. that's pretty high like as far as diversity is concerned. Exactly, exactly. And and from an inclusion perspective, I think what's what's unique about what we do is that we celebrate diversity, individual, Visual, okay, and group diversity. Mm, okay, okay. We celebrate different religious festivals, different mm. cultural festivals. Okay. Uh, and and we do that as just part of the what we call the social fabric that okay. we have weaved in okay. our organization. Okay. Okay. Mm. Very impressive. So do you feel like is that your greatest achievement is celebrating and recognizing other cultures? I noticed you said you do that at the headquarter, but how do you uh, address diversity and inclusion in Austin, Texas, which is a very, you know, she's in a different country, very different cultural environment. Well, um, I think what's interesting is that I believe that a, a corporate culture permeates, permeates throughout the okay. organization. Mm -hmm. Okay. And respects yeah okay diversity okay. in okay. different manners as it applies to the reality of okay. the different regions oh, okay great uh, okay you know as a as a company uh, we have always looked to hire what we call tens okay right? yeah people who are the best they, they are, are what they do best exactly. Exactly. irrespective of their country of origin yeah. the passport they carry the religion they mm -hmm. practice or don't mm -hmm. uh, you know they're gender yeah. uh, for us it's about getting the right people and bringing them together and celebrating the individual now let me ask you this what is your advice to other Microsoft business partners that need to implement a diversity and inclusion strategy well even though I just said as a company that is something we've always believed in, yeah, mm -hmm. our, our HR team has identified ways that we can improve okay, what okay. we do. Okay. You mentioned <clears throat> unconscious bias, uh, bias. Mm -hmm. and it's by raising and focusing on and providing training uh, video and other mm -hmm. to staff members as part of their onboarding process to ensure that they understand the importance mm -hmm. of individual achievement individual mm -hmm. uh, respect for others mm -hmm. and, and not just respect but valuing the differences mm -hmm. that help us better understand mm -hmm. how to continue to be successful moving forward